Hello, my dear student of class 8. This is Amar Pansaraga in front of you, and today uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you what look science, science class 8 textbook. And um, first chapter we have in class 8 is crops production and management. So it is a quite uh, familiar with geography, no? Agriculture, okay. So that's why I have decided to teach you the first chapter crops production and management. So uh, today we will discuss this chapter. And uh, before starting the chapter, let me ask you some uh, or let me have some discuss. Uh, let us have some discussion here about the crops production. Actually, we all know we need. Uh, food we need food for our survival we all know we need food for our survival we also know our country India have a large population so uh, we need to have a better technique in case of crop production in case of crops production and we need to manage them properly we need to manage them properly to fulfill the demands of the people fulfill the demands of the populations and we need to have a uh, better better years the better food and the better crops we need to have a better uh, years to fulfill the demands of the growing population so that's why for the better years we must follow a certain kind of agricultural practice for better uh, for uh, what for better crop production so if we follow a certain kind of agricultural practice for the better crop production and management uh, then only we will able to distribute the food or the crops to the people of our country so in this chapter we are going to learn about what is crops how they are produced and how they can be managed in a proper way in order to fulfill the demand of large population so about this all thing we are going to learn in this in this uh, okay so uh, let me ask you some question why do we need food we need food to um, get energy we need food um, uh, for our nourishment we need food for the survival to make us healthy for the several reason we need food okay so from where the food comes what do we make crop what is cropping what is management what uh, are the tools used to, while cropping so uh, these all questions we're going to discuss in this chapter okay so if you can see here Paheli and Bozo went to their uncle's house during the summer vacation. Their uncle is a farmer. One day they saw some tools like khurpi, sickle, uh, sohal, plough, etc. in the field. Now, okay, we are familiar with this because we all are from the farmer family. Uh, we all have our fields. So, what happened? If you, um, if you asked your parents also what are the things used to uh, do farming then their parents will answer you their parents will help you khurpi, sickle, stole, plug, etc. So in the previous time uh, the people used this type of the tools while uh, plugging the land while um, doing farming okay so but nowadays what happened due to the technological impact uh, we uh, came across uh, what tractor there are so many um, uh, modern farming method we are applying nowadays okay so in our previous time the people use uh, tools like khurpi, sickle, uh, sohal, plot etc in their field okay for uh, farming so you have learned that all living organisms require food Plants can make uh, their food themselves. Can you recall how green plants synthesize their own food? Animals include humans, 
can not make their own food. So where do animals get their food from? Okay, here is a question for you. Okay, in class six you already they, uh, in class six and in class seven you already know about the uh, food, about um, the photosynthesis. So plants can make their own food, but animal can't. We people can't make our own food, but the plants make their own food. Then uh, where do animal get food? From where do animal get food? Okay, so this. Um, these are some questions for you to do at the home and um, you already know that energy from the food is utilized by the organism for carrying our, out their various body functions such as digestion, rep, uh, respiration and excretion. We get our food from plants or animals or animals or both. Now what happened? So living beings, the animals or uh, organisms utilize um, or made energy to make um, themselves fit okay animals uh, or the organism utilize the food is utilized by the organisms for uh, caring caring about their various body functions such as digestion respiration ex excretion etc without food we won't get energy Okay, if you have food, then only we get energy. Then only we um, we will able to do works. Okay, so food is the important thing for our survival because it because it gives us energy. And from where do the food comes from? What are the major procedure of uh, growing crops? These all things which we are going to discuss. Um, now so as i already told you in order to provide food for a large population regular productions proper management and the distribution is necessary means india i already told you uh, is having a second most populous country in the world so for or to provide food for this large population okay regular production proper management and distribution is necessary so how they um, are distributed how the crops are grown etc 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 we will going to discuss and our 1.1 topic is agricultural practice because agricultural practice we have to follow some agricultural practice to fulfill the demands of the people to um, make better yields to grow high amounts of crops okay so we have to follow some agricultural practice and we need some tools like a, a tractor uh, there are so many things which we uh, used while doing uh, farming nowadays so um, for that what happened uh, we have to follow some agricultural practice so let us see what do you mean by the agricultural practice okay so there you can see till thousands BCE people were nomadic. Nomadic means the people who used to travel from one place to another. They were wandering in the groups from place to place in search of food and shelter. So the people, the nomads people used to travel from one place to place in a search of food, which we already discussed in class 7th, 8th in uh, SST. No. They ate raw fruits and vegetables and started hunting animals for food. So while uh, moving in the jungle, nomadic people used to act the rough fruits and vegetables and they started killing and hunting the wild animals. So later on what happened, they could cultivate lands and produce rice, wheat and other food crops. Thus was grown agriculture. So now later on, they used to cultivate a land and they used to produce what? Uh, wheat and fruit, um, rice um, and all other food crops okay so at first time when they used to uh, do agriculture at that time they don't have tractors they don't have harvesters they used to cut their grains with the help of sickle they use uh, they, what they use a plug using what uh, using um, buffalo 
using cards they use to do farming okay nowadays the system has been changed but at that time they used a different types of weapons while doing the farming okay so first of all we have to know what is crops when the plants of same kinds are cultivated at one place on a large scale it is called crops now it's very simple definition if the plant of a same kinds are cultivated or are planted on a same place like a rice wheat which you can see around your house um, so uh, if some kind of plant cultivated in a same plot of land in large amount it is known as crops for example crops of wheat means that all the plants grow in a field and that are of wheat means if we uh, if we plant rice or if we plant wheat we plant or we cultivate only wheat or only rice in a same plot of land in a large amount so that type of the food is known as crops and you already know that crops are of the different types like a cereals vegetables and fruits that can be classified on the basis of the season in which they grow okay as you can see uh, in your field also in your uh, farm also uh, you can see a different different types of crops no like cereals like mustards and all like uh, vegetables okay like fruits okay so what happened uh, so the crops can be classified on the basis of the season according to the season the crops are what classified so uh, they are classified on the basis of the season in which they grow in what season what type of crops will grow okay in which season what type of crops will grow so in this way they are classified in uh, according to the season so india is a vast country the climate conditions like temperature humidity rainfall vary from place to place or one reason to another according accordingly there is a rich varieties of the crops in the different parts of the country despite the diversity two broad cropping pattern can be identified these are let us see what happened so india is a huge and a vast country india experiences different types of climatic condition temperature humidity and the rainfall uh, it varies from one place to another in india if you go to the trivandrum you can feel a hot very hot compared to the jammu and kashmir or the himachal pradesh so that's why uh, according to the according to their uh, what according to their altitude india experience different types of temperature humidity and rainfall temperature humidity and rainfall vary from place to place and that's accordingly there is a rich varieties of the crops grown in the different part of the country so due to the different types of climatic condition the different types of crops grown in the different parts of country as we can discuss as we already discussed in class 7 uh, geography due to the different type of climatic condition the natural vegetation changes yes or no so similarly here what happened due to the different types of temperature humidity and rainfall different types of the crops are grown in the different parts of our country okay so despite of being uh, such a diversity there are main two cropping pattern there are two pattern of cropping can be identified in india they are one kharif crops and another one is ravi crops so now what is ravi crops and what is kharif crops let us see the crops which are sown in the rainy season are called kharif crops the rainy season in india is generally from june to september paddy maize soybean groundnuts and coconut are kharif crops okay so first pattern is kharif crops what do you mean kharif crops it means the crops that this is a type of the crops which are grown during a june to september okay and that means during the rainy season uh, the crops generally like uh, paddy maize soybean groundnuts coconut okay i said there are lots of crops uh, which grow during the june and september between the june and september so i um, suggest you 
to uh, write some other name of the scrubs or name of the Kharib scrubs and uh, send me to the, uh, through the WhatsApp. Okay, so the crops which uh, the crops which are grown or which are sown in the rainy season. Okay, so that type of the crops are known as Kharib scrubs. So um, and the Rabi crops. What is Rabi crops? The crops grown in the winter season are called Rabi crops. For example, crops are wheat, cream, pea, mustard, and the linseed. Okay, so what happened? So crops which is grown or which is sown during the winter season is known as rabi crops and the crops which is sown during the uh, summer season is known as karib crops okay so this is your homework what is your homework your homework is uh, what is the difference between rabi crops and karib crops and write down some uh, example of karib crops uh, and the rabi crops accept the name used in your book Okay, think and write. This is just for a fun. And what happened? So, Kharib scrubs um, are grown during the time of rainy season. That means from June, uh, June to September. And Rabi crops are the types of crops which were grown or which are grown um, during winter season. That means from October to March, in between this month. Okay, and the example of the Rabi crops are the Rabi uh, wheat, cream, pea, mustard, and linseed. So beside these pulses and vegetables are also grown during at many places. So many places beside these crops, different types of vegetables uh, are also grown in the different parts of our country. Okay, so this is your first part and I hope you understood the chapter well. So in this part, for a quick summary, let me tell you. Um, in this part, we discuss the different types of crops. Okay, uh, we... Uh, discuss why do we need food we discuss the tool use tools used in the uh, farming okay so in the next video i will be back with the 1.2 the basic practice of crop production so what are the practice for the art uh, of crop production we will discuss in the next uh, video for any uh, confusion you can call me directly okay thank you very much